Sunday space. I bet you have a few questions. One, probably where is Bunny? And two, why do I have this hat on? Well, two different questions, but the same answer. Bunny and I, we did something dramatic, something crazy, but we got it on film just for you. Are you ready? We cut our hair. <laughs> And, okay, I know I didn't 
didn't get that much taken off. Hey, it was something. So that is what we did this week. We want to give a special shout out to all of the fathers this week. We hope that you have an amazing Father's Day. You guys ready to start Sunday School on Sunday Space? Let's do it. Before we get started, let's give ourselves a shake and let's get started. Are you ready? there, the dad that was not, the dad we never knew, the dad that was strong, the dad that was not, the dad that really cared for you. The dad we called 
father and papa, the dad we wanted to, the dad we longed for and now forgot, the dad we really got. Loved, cherished, hoped for, more than we had thought, the dad that brings us laughter, joy and hope, which he in heaven brought. For we have a father that never disappoints, the father God in heaven and on earth, who we can call upon at any time, Abba Father, Yahweh, who knew us before birth. It's wonderful to think and know that Father God is here, to be loved, disciplined and taught by the one who holds us dear. So let's be thankful today for our Father, our Father in heaven, and let's celebrate and be blessed for all that he has done in giving us Jesus, his one and only Son that we can call him Father and know that in our lives he will always be there forever now and always until we arise. Thank you, Amy, for leading us in worship. Love that song. And thank you to Julie for sharing her poem that she wrote with us. I love the, the line that says, um, the Father God in heaven and on earth, who we can call upon at any time, Abba Father Yahweh, who knew us before birth. And today is a special day. As you know, we're celebrating fathers and we're honoring fathers and the men in our lives who have been there for us. But what a great opportunity also to realize that we have a heavenly father that has known us before birth, who has endowed us with seeds of greatness that has a purpose and a plan for each one of our lives. And so even on this Father's Day, just a little reminder about how good our God is, our Heavenly Father. Okay, craft time. Now I am not the craft expert. There are many other Sunday school and Sunday space teachers that are way better at this, but Buddy and I, we kind of did it together. So I'm not going to tell you which one's Buddy, which one's mine, because his is probably better. But we made ties. Okay, so we um, if you'd like to make a tie, do a point, kind of go out, and then kind of bring it, bring it in, okay? Bring it in. There's lots of templates online. There's some really cool ones that even you could do like a little string. Um, but we kind of went simple, okay? Um, so we just kind of decorated them, and then... I'm going to give mine to my dad and Buddy's going to give his to someone who's been like a father figure to him. Basically, this person feeds him, which to Buddy is very important. So he's going to do that. I'm going to do, give it to my dad. So to my dad, I'll you know thank him for how great he is and how much uh, time he spends and he's very thoughtful. So things like that. You can tell your dad anything. Um, or you can be like Buddy and do a father figure, and then we're going to present the ties to them. So Buddy and I have the honor of introducing Snowball to the church family. Uh, the Murdoch sent in this awesome picture. And the Gilmores also sent us a video of them doing the actions from last week's song. joining us this week. We love spending time with you and hope that you have an amazing week. We will see you next Sunday and let us know what you think about Buddy's haircut. I think he had enough hair he could have made another dog. See you guys later.